Hey guys, welcome to Hold My Beer. Today we're going to be making a whiskey bottle lamp, desktop, I don't know, natural edge, uh, LED, LED power switch, fully rechargeable, um, pretty cool, learned some stuff, but uh, yeah, it worked out okay. Let's go run through this one. Alright guys, so I got this chunk of maple, I'm just going to plane it down and pick the favorite piece. It was going to be a Jameson bottle, but I just broke it. So now it's going to be Pendleton. Alright, so the holes are in. Uh, the next thing I think is... Obviously I was using water to cut with. Drill, cut. To their spot. And I don't want to take up too much space. Do something like that. And then I think once I get the hole in, I'll uh, start thinking about trimming the rest off. Keeping it as small as I can, but enough room for the, uh, all the electronics. Which I'm not sure, if it comes out cool, I might put a battery in it. But it's probably won't, so I'll probably just plug it in. But uh, we'll see. All right, just gonna, just gonna, this is gonna take a while, but punch a hole in. I had two, a hole saw a little too big and a little too small. I'm going a little too small. Try to put a little uh, round, round on it to see if the bottle drops in halfway decent. I found some earplugs, but they're really old, so I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't get in the bottle. Alright, guys, uh, I mean, <laughs> before I finish sanding, I probably should talk about the switch and uh, how we're gonna power this thing. Um, but it's done now, right? So, let's just do it now. So, I'm just gonna cut uh, some of the pesky safety crap off here. Plenty. So what do we need here? We need where is I got caliper somewhere. I should know this. I've done this probably twelve times with you guys. But we need quarter, just over a quarter, and four or five. Alright, so we got so far. Um, I think the next thing I'm going to do is get the LEDs glued into the bottle and glue the bottle in. And then uh, I don't know if we should put a battery in this thing. Yeah, we could. I think there's room. 
I don't want to put, well, I guess if it, I put a battery in it, if it comes out cool, but if it doesn't come out cool, I'd probably just put a plug in here and put it with the other projects that it didn't go so great. But, uh, I got high hopes, so I think we're going to do a battery. But we'll get the LEDs in and splice together, because we're just going to, um, run them together. And, uh, glue the bottle in, I think, and then we'll do the rest of the wiring. All right, let's, uh, get these LEDs going. today because it's the first time I've done this for these guys. Alright. Let's give them a quick little test run here. Make sure everything's in the up and up. And these guys take 12 volts. They don't turn on um oh here let me show you. It's right at 12. Let's turn it down. Alright. I see it come out of 8 bolts. Bright little suckers, aren't they? Alright, so I'm calling that good. Alright. Pretty good. Close enough for hand grenades. <sighs> How am I gonna do this? I don't really think this all the way through, to be honest with you. I mean, maybe try to get the um, back to hold it and then flip it. I'll just try to cut it off with a razor knife. Try. I guess I don't have any choice now, huh? All right, so the back's dry. I'm just gonna um, see. I guess you probably can't see me anyway, but just gonna try to do the inside now. All right, so I put the power switch in. Um, just put a piece of wood on top of it and beat it in. I don't recommend it. I drill the right size hole, but that's what I do. <laughs> okay, so let's build our battery. Um, they've got these little uh, holders, which are really nice cheap so oh, they just snap together we have these 3.7 volt uh, 18 oh, let's say 1850 oh, they're all 1850s but uh three of them 3.7 is 12 volts ish so we'll to put two positives down one positive up. I'm gonna put the uh, on the open side. Right now, lay on there. Let's see, okay. Similar, at least, maybe. Oh, it's similar. So, where do we want to glue this on? Let's glue it here for um, for maximum. Well, just have I'm gonna glue it right on top there, so we can easier to wire later. All right, so uh, so P one and P. P1 and P2, P positive and P negative are your power wires coming off the battery and into the battery for charging, vice versa, visa visa. Um, one special layer, let me turn the heat that soldering iron down because I'm going to melt this thing. And we'll just tend the board real quick. So that's our power wires in and out. Battery one, 
battery negative, battery two, battery plus. So battery plus is going to be um, the positive going into going in. So we'll use one of these down here on this side. I'll have to take it a little farther over, but you guys, I'm sure, will plan it out better than me. I, I think we need. Uh, I think we need another party. People like us, they're just kind of chill, you know. Once your fingers start burning, it's about to catch. So let's just try to power the LEDs. Battery. All right, guys. So I put uh, I got I don't know maybe five battery boards, like five bucks. I put two in so far. You see them on the output here. I've got nothing. Um, but if I go across the battery. Positive. Yellow is negative. Sorry guys, red's positive. Oh, yeah. So what, 15 volts? So it's fully charged, it's there, it just won't come out. So I did some reading and it said, uh, well, I read the reviews of where I bought them from, and it said, half of them said they don't work. But the last dude said if you put a charging voltage on it, it will come to life. So I tried that too. Hopefully it'll work this time. All right. Can you see the power supply? It's good or not. So we're at 2.9, so let's take it up to 12. 13. 14. Turn it off. All right, right. So, yay. Let's try it again. And well, zero one. Yeah, nothing coming out. So I got these BMSs. I've used them before. They've always seemed to work. It's the same process hooking them up. Um, I'm gonna try it and see what happens, and hopefully we can move on. All right, guys. I put on the new BMS. 15 volts right away. Um, I don't know what the deal is. These ones, they come in like the break off packages. They're uh, they're 12 volt, 11 to 12, I don't know, something like that, 10 amp. I've never had any issues with them. These guys on the other hand. <clears throat> I've had no luck whatsoever, so I don't know. Put in the comments maybe how to get them to work. I got four or five more, you know, so 
All right, we can move on now. All right, guys, so the battery's connected, the switch is on. Well, it's not connected, it's not connected, but this is the switch. So we know it works on the battery. Um, let's just make sure it works plugged in, too. Just turn it off and plug it in. So you just plug it in. That'll charge the battery, too, with the switch on. All right, so we can make these connections permanent now. I'll uh, fillet it out and then we'll start doing the pretty. This is the positive side of my battery, our battery, I guess, and the negative side of the uh, LED power switch, but this is the switch part, not the light part. So I'm going to solder these because they're never coming apart again, hopefully. bigger. That'll work. Okay, so that's the negative of the power switch. Not the LED on the power switch, the power switch itself. To the positive of the battery. Shrink that. Okay, so now it's pretty simple. We'll just take the rest of the positives and the rest of the negatives and hook them up. Um, I'll clean this up and then bring it back. All right, so I broke out all my positives and shortened them up a little bit. Give some flex. And we'll solder the pookie out of this too. Yeah, a little bigger, it's take a little more to get it hot. All right, so I did the same thing with all the negative wires. We're completely dependent on the battery right now. And we got lights. And put the charger on the charge. But it'll run off the switch, or run off the charger. I always need to shove everything in there. All right, so uh, I just shoved everything in there. It went, it wasn't pretty, but it worked. So we're completely independent on the battery right now. Oh. Off. We'll drag 12 volt charger in. It'll work no matter what, if that's plugged in, but to charge the battery, you gotta turn the power switch on, because that's what kind of we're using to kill the battery. So that's it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it up and give it the old money shot and uh, send it out to you guys. Right, take it easy.